the solution to providing energy to half the world who are not connected to an electricity, electricity grid is to find an alternative, and that is to provide this energy to them off the grid. And the barrier to this has been that entrepreneurs have not found a way of doing this profitably. So we propose a new world energy market where entrepreneurs can be connected to consumers who are willing and able to pay so that energy becomes profitable for us all. This solution is going to be effective for vendors, governments, NGOs, financiers, and entrepreneurs to get together to do business successfully. We'll have our world energy map that will show all the different energy demands and all the different renewable energy options and even dirty energy options in different locations in the world. And we thank Google Maps for this. Today, you have seen from my colleagues different places in the world that before were hidden to you. That is what we want to do for energy. We will uncover the hidden opportunities so that you can go and solve the problem. We will also have a solutions catalog where all the different solutions can be provided for as little as providing a more efficient LED lamp so that 2.5 million children do not die from inhaling fumes. And then we will bring all this together on an online market platform where consumers can aggregate their needs and post it on this site and vendors can bid and profitably solve this problem. In the past, okay, and then we would ask, why now? Why didn't we do this before? In the past, we could not achieve this because we did not have these exponential technologies that will drive these solutions. One of them is the mobile phone. In Nigeria, my country, 20 years ago, they say that we had only 250,000 people who had a land phone. But 10 years ago, mobile phone technology came into my country. And today, we have over 30 million lines. And one of the big operators of this company declared a profit of 40 billion US dollars last year. So there exist people who are able and willing to pay. We just have to expose them to the entrepreneurs. The same trends are happening in solar energy. Solar panels are becoming cheaper and cheaper. Experts project that by 2020, the cost of generating electricity using solar energy will be at parity with the cost of generating electricity with a coal power plant. And also storage. Solar is seen as an intermittent power of uh, source of power because it, you can have just so many hours of sunlight in a day. But increasingly, battery capacity is increasing. Batteries are becoming more efficient, and they are getting cheaper. So solar and wind will become a 24-7 solution because of the capacity of the batteries. And we can also think about how will people pay? I want to bring up the example of Bangladesh, where an incredible company called Graman Shakti has been able to exponentially deploy solar panels in this developing country. So this is the time, this is now, that we should solve this great humanity problem because we have the tools. So I offer to you a huge business opportunity. Three billion potential customers who are currently walking miles and hours to use wood to cook, who are paying more, like in India, for diesel generators than they would pay for solar today. And alternative energy sources that can help people to leapfrog the constraints of the electricity grid and have power 
the same way you have mobile, phone, mobile phones in your pocket. And we will do this by connecting all stakeholders so that all of us can prof profit and the world will have electricity. I want to invite all of you to join and let us do Amunda. Thank you.